Welcome to EnviroTube. We're at Newport, you can hear the surf in the background, and we're at this fantastic permaculture garden where we have JJ and Richard running this whole productive unit. They have enough work and enough size of their project for four woofers. Woofers are a different sort of person. Woofers are the people who go on holidays and instead of saying, where's my martini, they're saying, I want to do something, I want to learn something. So the woofers here are spending their days learning about permaculture and actually making the system work. EnviroTube's got a couple of workers at this productive pond. Uh, we have Brian and Kyle, and I believe you're woofers, but what's a woofer? A uh, woofer is just someone who uh, takes the opportunity to work on an organic farm. Uh, it's W-W-O-O-F, and it's actually an acronym, so it's for Worldwide Opportunities on Organic Farms. And really, many countries, Australia has been pretty prominent in uh, its access to, for volunteers. Just sets up a website and just big uh, kind of compendium of directory of organic local farmers that need volunteers. So JJ and Richard who have opened up their home and their kind of their sanctuary as they call it, permaculture sanctuary, um, to woofers, just someone who volunteers, wants to learn as much as they can, get that experience and maybe implement it in their life back at home and as an urban farmer or a rural farmer. Just really, it's just sharing knowledge. So you've been here... Two weeks. And two weeks, oh, yeah. okay. And yeah, Brian, you've been here? My girlfriend and I have been here for a week. A week, oh, so you're both yeah. brand new. Yeah. yeah, but blown away yeah. already, for sure. So have you ever seen a productive pond before? No, I this is no. yeah, yeah. This is the first one. Yeah, it's a, it seems like a cross between uh, aquaponics, hydroponics, mm -hmm. uh, and just sort of like permaculture, yeah. like a real mix. Is this pond feeding you? Tonight it is. Tonight, <laughs> tonight it, is. it is. What are you yes. eating tonight? Uh, rainbow trout, right? Rainbow trout. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Smoked. It's be a bit sad trout. though when you kill the trout, isn't it? Uh, they all lived a happy life. Yeah. And how yeah. do you how do you do it? Do you know yet? Yeah. Well, actually, it's pretty humane in a way. We catch them uh, just with a fishing line, and then we soak them in uh, clove oil solution and water, and it just really calms them down and kind of numbs them a bit. It's a very honest way to get your protein, isn't it? Yeah. I think yes. uh, most people in Australia, if they actually went to an abattoir, they'd become vegetarian pretty quickly. Yeah. So, uh, where are you from, Brian? Uh, from New York City. Uh, moved for, left Manhattan six months ago to start traveling. And Kyle? I'm from small town New Hampshire, back in the States. So would you recommend woofing to people? Oh, of course, for sure. Yeah, yeah like it's one thing to travel, but another thing to volunteer and learn. You should try and learn yeah. as much as you can while you travel. And places like this, like it doesn't get much better. JJ and Richard, just a wealth of knowledge yeah. and practical knowledge as well that you can take home with you, which I think is really the key. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Uh, it's fantastic seeing this productive pond. Fantastic to see the, the people behind the productive pond. And, uh, you know, woof away. <laughs> Look, you can gnash your teeth and you can throw your arms up in the air and say, the world's going to hell in a handbasket and what can I do? I'm just going to forget about the whole thing, watch Netflix till I dry. Or perhaps you can actually think, what can I do on a personal level to help the planet? Well, JJ and Richard, they're not just sitting back hoping things are going to get better. They've actually turned an unwanted swimming pool into a productive unit. They've turned a normal suburban backyard into a bit of land that's actually feeding up to six people every day for an entire year, almost totally self-sufficient. This is a place you don't want to leave. This is a place where I want to become a woofer. I actually want to spend some time learning how to do this. I really hope some Kuringa residents, maybe you, maybe you're going to turn your unwanted swimming pool into a productive pond. I really hope so.